ain't no secret should do eddie kane jr like share subscribe if you subscribe to me leave a comment down the video so i can sub back to you deuce yeah these niggas gonna come on here shit if he's a rat you're gonna shut your bitch ass up and get out your contract bitch ass nigga go get out that contract ratville nigga <laughs> yeah y'all niggas sound a ratville bitch ass nigga bitch hey what's wrong with these niggas man Man, what's up? What's up? Man, what's, what's ass going on? Bad to the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, man, what, what's up, man? Why are these niggas mad at us for, bro? I don't know, bro. We don't do this. They, that, bro, paperwork, nigga, point out at niggas. Say, oh, listen, he shot me. <laughs> listen, right? Like it ain't like fun, you know. Everybody's been sending me this shit, and is it real? And is it? I wasn't the first one to post it. Everybody been talking about Wack been talking about it. I right. been talking about it. You been talking about you know what right. I mean? So it's like I looked into it, but what confused me was like, where the fuck everybody been looking at? Yeah. <laughs> it took me it took me fifteen minutes and like thirty dollars <laughs> to get everything. Hey Jake, they, I'm like they be thinking they be thinking we really be doing Private eye investigations. Like we gotta have secret handshakes and codes to get this shit. This shit's as easy as pushing buttons. <laughs> hey, hey Jay, hey, Jay, how long the paperwork been on that website, bro? bro what, 10 years? <laughs> 11 years? Hey, they mad at us. They mad at Jay for some shit that been on the net for 10 years. What the fuck, bro? And you know, you know what's crazy is everybody I spoke to from Atlanta knew about it. They know about this shit, bro. Everyone was like, "Oh yeah, we been knew that." It ain't even news to them. They this they been knew it, bro. Uh, so so let's keep it hundred, Jay. Who else niggas harboring, bro? If if, if bro, this industry ain't what I thought it was, bro. We was regular niggas when we came in this shit, bro. I don't I don't even know if it's like if it's harboring or if motherfuckers just don't care or like you know what I mean? it's, like, it's, it's like I said in my video, you know what I mean? The biggest the biggest thing with this situation is gonna come down to do people consider P a street individual that needs right. to abide by street code or is he a businessman? Because any businessman is is gonna do essentially what he did i mean he kind of went out of his fucking way a little bit what fucked me up about what he was doing was he was tapping into the streets listening to what people were saying and then telling the police what they were saying that's you know crazy I mean? as fuck that's crazy but, i mean bro. i guess that would be the same as anybody hearing the rumors that go around and reporting it back whatever whatever so if, if bro's a businessman did he do anything wrong but if he's portraying himself to be uh, something else because, you know, he does have a record and he has had cases, then I think that that would fall under, you know, a different category. You know what it got to be, bro? That's how it got to be, right? Now, when did that shit take place? 08 or some shit? Nah, that, the, the snitching was from, like, 2009 to 2012. I mean, bro, the, the prosecutors even reached out to him before dude was sentenced in 2012 to let P know of the negotiated plea deal that they came up with. So they, they, felt, they felt inclined enough to call him and say, look, this is the deal that he's going to get. You can come to court if you want. And he decided not to show up to the sentencing. Damn. So that nigga was the street nigga in 09. It, it got to be what was he then? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing before that. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't so know. You, you, just, you just put it out there and it's up to people's judgment. If y'all feel like he a business nigga, then he ain't a rat. If y'all feel like he a Yeah, I don't, I don't really give a fuck either way because it's like, it's not like he makes music. But You know what I mean? He but does, he do sign these niggas. He do sign street niggas and be around street niggas and shit though. Yeah, but that wouldn't even be the first instance because isn't there a female that works for a record label that was like a whole informant or some shit? Yeah, she was a whole goddamn informant. That shit crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, so so when it comes to this shit, when paperwork been out for 10 years, do we blame the city of these niggas is in? Because with that 100K track shit, that shit was out for three years, bro. Nobody bothers 
to be like, let me see what this nigga said. You know what I mean? Like nobody actually bothers well, me. I think I think the majority of people never knew how to get this shit. So what it was is the <laughs> only the only people that knew how to get this shit was the news and TMZ. Right. And I feel like for everyone else, we just naturally assumed they must have a pass to get shit we can't. Cause right. we didn't know we can do it the same way they do it. So once we started doing it and we started getting the bag off of it, and you know what I mean? Then it right. just turns into a whole nother, now people are looking at us like we must have some fucking secret that they don't know just because they don't know what the fuck, how we're doing this. They shit, don't even know. know. All they nigga do is go to one website and take three minutes, do two clicks, Pay like ten, twenty dollars, and there's easy. a whole look. Look, it's just if you sign out of your Instagram and then log back in, same thing, same fucking thing. This shit crazy, man. So how you feel about niggas saying that we should be minding our business? Because really, bruh, me and you get so much hate. Why they a nigga said uh the people who be trying to point out the snitches, bro. Nine times out of ten, they don't understand this shit. Come to us. But we who, don't just sit who, there. Who said, who said we should be minding our business, though? All type of motherfuckers. You said before you came in, it was all in the comment. Listen, Cause, bro. Cause, cause, cause look at this. Look at this, right? Look at this. 14,000 people in 42 minutes ain't <laughs> minding their fucking business. <laughs> so how they gonna tell me to mind? And they hitting me up. Right. Like, yo, bro, check this. See if this right, is right, 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 right. You know? Because this is the thing. I first saw his paperwork on the Instagram account, News Made It. Right. That's the same Instagram account that posted Rollo's paperwork. Right. But the paperwork they posted for Pete, I didn't even use any of that shit. Right. I went and found a whole bunch of other shit. You know what I mean? Right, right. But that's, that's where I first seen it. And then everyone starts sending it to me and asking me, yo, can you figure out what this is? It doesn't have nothing to do with being nosy. It's like you get some gold and you come to the pawn store. You want to see if it's real or not. You asking me to check it. Right. And then when I tell you that your jewelry fake, you get mad that you got some fake shit. Don't be <laughs> mad at me. Get mad at the person that bought you the fake chain. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, y'all bitch ass niggas be thinking we be, hmm, look, they be thinking we be at home like, let me just check QCP's paperwork. Like, no, like, hell no. Somebody's just thinking of these random ass people. Like, yeah, let me go look this shit up. No, <laughs> sending it to us. Hey, these two, these two bitch ass niggas with glass in their chain, nigga, that came on here, cussing me the fuck out, looking like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen twins, talking about, man, P ain't no rat. Damn, what else you want to see, man? You niggas is hoes, bro. What else do you want to see, bro? They hope, I don't get They hoping they get signed. No. Oh, they are signed, oh, they bro. Are signed yeah, it's two niggas that are signed. Two people. So they're, they're flexing their little chains and shit. And that's, that shit. that's an unfortunate situation. bro. ever since I exposed this paperwork, they've been on my ass, bro. And now when you did it, now they're like through the roof. You see what I'm saying? Like, now these niggas mad as hell. Now they, <laughs> they, they throwing the chains off the wall and shit. All that shit. <laughs> doing jumping oh, jacks. Fuck this shit. No, fuck this shit. <laughs> These niggas hoes, man. Hey, man. Look, see, see, there you go. Yeah, we signed. See what I'm saying? Them niggas some dick stuff. Hey, tell that red ass nigga to uh uh, uh cut y'all a bigger check, nigga, because y'all should have did a better. 